Eddie Perkin, your mantra over at Eden Vance is to be defensive and don't fear interest rate risk. Why don't you put those two together for me? Sure. Well, in our Focus Value Opportunities Fund, we favor higher quality companies that tend to be a little bit defensive. Over the summer, we took a more aggressive posture when the market sold off. But now that we've had this recent rally, uh, I think it's back to being defensive, being a little bit cautious, favoring those higher quality stocks. And many of those are dividend payers, which people worry about owning with the Fed likely to raise rates soon. But we're not afraid of that. We're willing to own the dividend stocks. All right. One stock you like is Equity Residential. This is Sam Zell's REIT. Now, he topped the market a while ago uh, when he sold some properties. He's selling again over to Starwood. I think he sold about $5 billion worth of property not too long ago. Does, what does this say about the property market? Uh, I don't think it says the same thing as in 2007. I think this is different. This is equity residential exiting markets that are non-core to their business. So they've had a strategy for several years now of favoring the so-called sexy six apartment markets, which on the West Coast are Seattle, uh, San Francisco and Southern California, on the East Coast, Boston, New York, and Washington, D.C. All six of those markets have very good supply and demand characteristics, and now they're 100% exposed to those better markets. REITs often don't divest properties because as a REIT, they're obligated to pay out a, a, a special dividend, uh, which, they, which Equity Residential will do early next year. So we think it, it says a lot about the quality of the capital allocation of this company that they're willing to do this. And clearly, you're not afraid of interest rate risk because the next stock you like is utility. Next Era Energy down in Florida pays nice yield. But if the Fed's going to be hiking rates, this usually hurts utilities, right? Yes, uh, that's, that's the conventional wisdom. And uh, again, in our strategies, we try to be contrarian value investors. Uh, so we don't mind owning utilities when everybody else hates them. Uh, you get a, three, a better than 3% dividend yield from Next Era. They're the largest player in wind, so they're uh, well exposed to the, the green energy revolution. Uh, and they have, uh, they're growing their dividend over the next several years in the low double digits. Earnings are growing 6 to 8%. So find me another stock that's as defensive as a utility that gives you a 3% dividend and mid to high single uh, digit earnings growth. I think it's hard to find that. All right. Well, finally, you are a fan of Eli Lilly. The drug makers having a great year. It's up around 20% this year. So you think they're going to move to Ireland like uh, Pfizer is? Just tell me what's in store for Eli Lilly. Yes, well, they're, they have a big diabetes franchise, which is a very, uh, you know, it's not very uh, pleasant if you have it, but it's uh, from a drug company's perspective, it's, uh, it's a, a disease that, uh, where people need a lot of help. Obesity uh, around the world is a, is a, is a real problem. Um, so they're, they're helping on that front. They also are doing early stage work on Alzheimer's. Uh, so we think both their pipeline and their existing diabetes drug uh, leave them well positioned uh, for the next several years. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Eddie. You got it. Thank you for watching The Street.